We all want to be happy, but then what do we do? We joke about how bad our mental health is. We've normalized and made it cool to have bad mental health. In mainstream media, what's more common? Someone talking about their poor mental health and in a way justifying their position without acting. Or someone talking about them being happy, them being a bliss, them being grateful about everything in their life. See, nowadays we live in a society where it's cool to have bad mental health, it's cool to be negative, it's cool to be toxic. We live in a society where everyone wants to be toxic. If you look at the dating market, everyone there, 90% of people will say that love is dead. 90% of people will say that everyone cheats, all women cheat, all men are unfaithful. That's because in our society, we've cultivated so much toxicity that toxicity is now the baseline. So since I started using social media, I'd say like everyone else, Instagram was the platform where I spent majority of my time. But then sometime last year, I developed this negative feeling every time I went onto Instagram. It made me extremely anxious. I'd get extremely sad. My digestive system would literally shut down. I'd have no appetite for days. Anything that I ate would just literally go straight through me. And you can visualize that all you want, but everything I ate during those times would go straight through me. So for the betterment of my mental health, I made the decision to go off social media, to delete Instagram, to delete TikTok. And I went for months and months and months without Instagram. And if I had to recall some of the decisions in my life that I've made, taking time away from social media is one of the best decisions that I've ever made. And I think that you should do too. See, on social media, social media is toxicity central. I can guarantee that you can't spend a day on social media without seeing something that's toxic, without, without seeing something that upsets you. See, even the news that we see on social media, even the news that's on CNN, is designed, these guys are clear, but it's designed to keep us watching, to keep us engaged. And the way they do that most of the time is by selling fear. If you look at the titles on CNN, most of the things, they are negative. They're all about war. They'll never tell you about the positive thing that's that's happening in the world. It will always be about how Russia is advancing in Ukraine or how something negative is happening. And the same goes for social media. Yes, social media may be masks and positivity, like uh, I'm interacting with my friends, I'm interacting with someone that I wouldn't have been able to do like 20 years ago. And that is true. You have more of a scope, you have more of a reach in this world. See, when we go on social media, we're exposed to like, positivity what we see is the highlights of someone else's life and we're led to believe that our lives aren't as good as theirs we're led to believe that we're not as achieving as much as we should see all of this all of these factors contribute to the general poor mental health of people these days so when i decided to take a step back from social media to take a step back from watching news yes people could say i was being ignorant and maybe i was but those were periods where i had the best mental health i've maintained minimal social media use a minimal news consumption for about the whole year now so we're in june for, so for about six months and i've had the best mental health this year than i've had for the previous 18 years of my life see this past week um to be honest with you i'm going through quite like a stressful time in my life i have many decisions to make that will literally make or i don't like saying make or break my future but they are very important decisions and one of the decisions that i'm faced with i'm faced with two options to do what i want to do what was against my my authentic self and this whole thing it completely ruined my mental health see with this poor mental health with a low mental health and I've been functioning with. I struggled to even get out of bed. I was struggling to go and take a shower. See, last week I exercised four out of six days. And you're gonna be like, oh, four out of six days, I wish I could exercise four out of six days. You have to understand that I exercise every, if I could, I'd exercise every single day. But I exercise six out of six days so that I can give myself time to rest. See, everything was hard. I was no longer journaling. I lost the motivation for life. The fire that I have within me to achieve, to be great in this world, it was gone. I was hopeless for like four or five days. And this is all because of the deterioration of my mental health. See, and if you look at it, relatively my mental health compared to most people in the world at that current moment wasn't even that bad it's just that i have been used to having good mental health so that decrease in mental health massively affected me it massively affected my productivity i wasn't able to focus for longer the last time i shot a youtube video was about probably a week ago and i normally shoot videos every two three days it was through this experience that i saw firsthand the effects of having poor mental health and comparing it to how i proceed with my day when i have better mental health it's so sad to think that most people are functioning with depression and anxiety. Most people have symptoms of these illnesses, but they aren't doing anything to change them. Most people have these things and now it's been normalized. People think it's okay to have depression. It's okay to have anxiety. Yes, it is. It's okay to have them. There's nothing wrong with you if you have these things. But it's not okay to sit like that. We shouldn't normalize these things. We have to push forward. We have to make sure that we urge each other to improve our mental health. 
Because mental health is the most important thing in your life. Not the amount of money that you make, not the people in your life. It is your mental health. So mental health, I like to see mental health as step zero. Without good mental health, you won't be able to achieve anything. Without good mental health, let's say you have financial goals, you want to set up a business or something. Without good mental health, you won't be able to do that deep work to focus for hours and hours on end. You won't be able to keep your focus whenever you go on your phone and you decide, okay, I'm going on my phone to search up a business model. Your focus will be taken away from you and to go towards YouTube, now you just be watching or looking at some Instagram model. See, a lot of us say that we need to be more disciplined. We need to start waking up earlier. We need to start doing this, stop doing those negative actions. And yes, you do need to stop doing them, but those actions aren't the problems. Those actions are just symptoms of bad mental health. So I previously, this past week, I went through per a period where I was doing all the bad habits. I was struggling to get out of bed, I was sleeping in, I was struggling to even take a shower. I think for, for like a three, four day stretch, I literally took one shower. And you can laugh at me saying, ah, you don't bath, you don't bath, but then that's how bad my mental health is. And I know there's someone watching it that's going through the same thing or goes through the same thing every few weeks. Look, and I sympathize with you. I know how you feel. I sympathize with you and I know how you feel. But I'm not going to be like everyone else who says, just sit in that and it's like, it's okay, it's okay, just be who you are. No, I'm going to urge you to improve to improve your mental health, to improve your overall well-being, to improve the quality of your life. We shouldn't be normalizing this terrible mental health. We shouldn't be normalizing depression and anxiety. I have personally seen the effects of normalized depression and anxiety in my family. I have seen what it can do to someone who goes unchecked. And it makes me so angry when people normalize it, when people joke about having depression. We have to aim to improve our mental health and I, there are surefire ways to improve it. Yes, I'm not saying, I'm not, a, I'm not a clinical psychologist, I'm not a therapist, so I'm not saying that these things are going to get rid of those problems. I'm not saying that all your problems are going to be gone, but I am telling you that things are going to improve. And the things that you need to do to improve your mental health are firstly, get off of your phone. Stop watching this video. Stop watching or don't even plan to watch another video. Leave your phone in another room for like four hours a day. And you probably cringe when I say leave your phone in another room for four hours. Because for you, four hours is a lifetime. You spend the whole day on your phone and you're so addicted to your phone that you can't think about spending four hours without your phone. So that is the first step to improving your mental health. Get off of TikTok. Get off of Instagram. Even get off of like iMessage and WhatsApp. Those things, they aren't good for you. They're not good to be on for long periods of time. The next thing that you need to do is go into nature, detach from the digital world. Spend one hour a day completely in nature without any devices, without any technology. No music, no phone, nothing to take pictures, just you and nature. And the third thing that you need to do is to exercise every single day. And I'm not saying go and hit a three hour workout at the gym. I'm not saying go gym like Arnold Schwarzenegger. I hope I said that right, like every day. Exercise can literally be a 30 minute walk. It can literally be you running 50 meters because you're unfit. You don't have to do the full workout every day. You just have to develop consistency and do some sort of physical exercise every day. And the last one that I highly recommend, and it's like not everyone will agree with it, but it's the one that I highly recommend, is realize that you can't control everything. There, there is a higher power at hand. And that higher power is God. Once we learn to accept that we can't control anything and learn to trust in God, I promise you your mental health increase so much look we should stop normalizing terrible mental health and we instead we should stop normalizing bad mental health and instead normalize trying to improve that mental health trying to do everything in your ability to get into a better mental state because you have to realize by normalizing these things by making a call to have mental health by making a call to be toxic you have to realize that you're killing thousands of people thousands of people are committing suicide because of these things that we have normalized and labeled as cool you have to realize that our actions have more of an effect than you think because you can say i was just toxic to that girl but that girl would be toxic to two other boys then those two boys are now heartbroken and they're going to be toxic to five goals then look you're gonna have millions and millions of people affected by this toxicity thing is cool and i know that i've gone on a ramble but we have to improve if you go into the description you'll see that there's a link to my first blog post i'd appreciate if you check that out leave a like and subscribe i love you boys